actually this uh, that servant couldn't know what Allah said to him but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with him because he knew that there is his Lord so whenever we commit a sin I do not say if we commit a sin no whenever we commit a sin because we should know that 100 person we should be certain that we will commit a sin so we say whenever we commit a sin we should not say if we commit a sin when we say if, if it, it, it can mean that we, we will not commit a sin no we should be certain that we anyway we will forget uh, we can we will commit a sin so whenever we should be aware we should be careful whenever we commit a sin we should remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should turn to him and as soon as we noticed ourselves in sin we should try to turn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as soon as possible please do not wait how much you wait you give the chance to Satan against you do not wait turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala إِنَّمَا التَّوْبَةُ عَلَى اللَّهِ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السُّوءَ بِجَهَالَةٍ ثُمَّ يَتُوبُونَ مِنْ قَرِيبٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the tawbah, the forgiveness for those who crime who commit a sin and then after the sin, as soon as possible, nearly they return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not after uh, a while small time you should try to turn min qareeb how much closer you are the tawbah how much uh, and uh, how much early you are in tawbah you uh, will have the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much bigger and much bigger and you feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you and you will free from the uh, feeling of guilty this is the way of the believers those who have taqwa it doesn't mean those who have taqwa who, who observes their duty towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they do not uh, cry that the Satan cannot make them uh, sinful no they, it's, they can cry but after that they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about him naming them that they are those who have taqwa even in Quran we can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named those who committed adultery Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them who have the taqwa but how? By remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and turning to Him. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and see that you committed a sin. You should acknowledge your sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you should say, I, uh, I regret it. You should show your repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you should say to Allah, Oh Allah, I have committed a sin and I want to you forgive me and I will not do it again I have the repentant, repentance in, my, in myself and you see you you know whatever is in my heart and you cannot uh, do a plan against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to commit a sin and then to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is not the way uh, of the sincere believers you cannot do that it's not uh, a good way I cannot say that that way is impossible to be forgiven no but uh, you should know that Allah is the one who knows your heart when you turn to him you should feel the pure repentance in your heart but if you are if you are turning to Allah and say oh my God I regretted uh, from what I did please forgive me but 
at the same time you have the intention to do the same crime again this is not turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should be certain about yourself at that point that you have the pure regret in your heart you you say uh, if if only I had not did the, the uh, this crime you are really uh, regretful at that point if so then you are sincere if so then your repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sincere and you can hope at that time the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala otherwise it show it's it otherwise it shows that you are not turning to him you are still have you are at that point still have the intention to turn uh, to turn to the crimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these ayats clearly shows us that we should turn to him tawbatan nasuha with repentance in your heart clear and pure repentance at that po point you should say about yourself you cannot fool yourself within yourself we are sincere uh, in our uh, innermost thoughts you should see yourself clearly that you are regretted about what you did and you do not want to uh, do it again if so then you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if after a while you commit that sin again but your toba was nasuh your toba was uh, pure at that point you were pure you uh, were sincere you can you may sin again uh, it's not uh, the matter it's not the case the case that after your sin you should be pure you should be clear in yourself if you are not clear if you see that there is a possibility you want to do that crime again it means that you are not regretful you have not the full regretful in your heart so tawbah and nasuha tawba meaning turn to all turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but at the same time with regretful in repentance so we explain that at that point Satan says to the human being that you are a big you are the biggest one uh, who crimed on the earth you have many many crimes you did such a sin you should not turn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please because he will not forgive you so uh, once you opened the way uh, to do uh, sins go and take the advantage of the sins go and uh, take the advantage of the sins this is the statement uh, of the satan قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Despire not the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Despire not the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا Allah is the one who forgives all the sins in Allah Allah is the one for who forgives all the sins so there is no sin how much big it is or what kind of sin it is you cannot define a sin and say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the sin cannot forgive the sin no, there is no any sin, any kind of sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them all. In Allah So do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and return to Him. This is a call from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to, to those who uh, live uh, in this life. They those who did not completed uh, their life did not completed 
uh, did not complete uh, their trial. They are still in this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites them, all oh, my servants who committed many, many sins, do not despise the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ayah after, after this ayah, he says, وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ Turn to him and submit to him. It's clear that they are the ones who are living in this life. They can return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Has the ability, still have the choice in their hand. So for, the, for, for those who are, who are uh, in this life, they are still in this life. They are living. We can say to them, Allah, be certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the sins but after this life inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi we should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi Allah does not forgive inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi uh, to be associated uh, with uh, others associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not forgiven for those who completed their life if you go before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this sin as an associator as a pagan as the one who uh, shared many partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who attributed partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you go before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this sin, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi. He will not forgive. He will never forgive them. Those who associate associates uh, some gods uh, along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim li. ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤخذنا إن نسينا أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته